opinions expressed in the podcast are purely individual and do not represent that of the colleges that are a part of it hi guys this is ritu from shrishti school of art design and technology hello this is anand jadeep from iit guwahati department of design i'm anjita from shrishti again i'm bonsang from iit guwahati department of design i'm neha from iit guwahati department of design again Today we're going to be discussing a lot about our college culture, our workspace, and so on. Uh, I wanted to ask Shristi, what does your workspace look like? Interesting question. So, because we don't really have a campus like other colleges do, uh, our workspace is quite a uh, dispersed sort of thing. Okay, so our campuses are called N one, N two, N three, N four. Any guesses what N is for? New, new one, new two, new three. <laughs> Why? Do I Our campus N six is for product design mainly and printing, and then we have another campus. Uh, we have a printing and dyeing lab, and we have a weaving lab. That's the best. And so we have different sections for classes. We have different buildings for classes, and then we have these um, areas for like workshops, basically where we work. There's like. all these small small spaces in each of the buildings and then there's this very important part which is i think the building that's closest to our hearts would be n3 which is uh, the building for the foundation kids so for everyone it becomes really close to their heart i don't know why but i think it's just the building the walls painted and everything like that gives you art school vibes basically so what is your workspace like? like do you have different classes do you have workshops what is it like Yeah, so we have this academic block where our department is like first one as you enter, and we have our classrooms, dedicated classroom for every year, and we have various labs like labs, workshops. The most important thing to which people stick, like you know, they love, is the design circle. It's like in the exact center of the department, and it's the place where everyone you know sits and chills, eats their lunch, snacks, everything. and it's a really good place to hang out for us i guess like this common hanging out space would be uh, you know all these uh, small small shops around the area where we live because we don't have an enclosed campus so in between classes or uh, after classes all these small like juice shops or cigarette shops are places where you will find like groups and bunches of people yeah so basically our academic okay. complex is in you know cores like 1 2 3 4 it's divided like this and every core has a canteen and a juice center so it's like really easy like this you know walk a few steps and you reach a canteen where you can get anything and you just take it and then go back to the class as we said like we don't have a campus so we literally we live with the uh, yalahanka so where we where our colleges that place is called yalahanka so we live with the locals over there and the they don't really like us they don't like us <laughs> they think ki hum unke bacche bigad rahe hain in our campus 90% of the time or like 99% of the time we only see students around or guards or um, academic people but like only our professors that's it and at the far corner or there's like residential area there will if you are hanging around that place and you will see other people but that's what i really like that we are not bothered much by if you are inside the campus or near the hostels or in the academic area we're not bothered much by other outsider people cuz like locals can get a little troubling so we have these clubs a few of us have like a other part of clubs so again because our college doesn't uh, didn't introduce the concept of like clubs and stuff it's not official in college so a lot of us started our our seniors actually started uh, student run initiatives which now other students are taking forward like so we either spend our time in that or we have like extra curricular activities so there's this stadium sort of thing close by that we go to to play football bas- basketball and um we have like these extra curricular like learn guitar music then veena class all these things there are there are a lot of things dance class yoga so cool. yeah so it's a part of our academics as well 
but it's not like you're forced to do um take up a sport or you're forced to take up like football or cricket or something you can like choose what you want to do so, yeah. okay more about your clubs and oh, yeah. events and field trips and i heard you have a lot of field trips so our field trips are very like course based it's like if uh, so facilitator like you have professors we call our professors facilitators so if uh, they like say it's very based on what you guys are doing in class depending on that they take us to like related places and there is this one thing that every uh, student does is the interim in the first year where we go to like we have a very place based project like me and anjita went to a sam in our first year that that's like the highlight of my college experience at least so when we went to uh, assam we were we went to this place called barpeta and we went to uh, bamboo clusters and we spent time with artisans observing their way of life their craft and then we came back and we worked with bamboo to make something of our own so that's how it usually works like you go to a place you get like an understanding of the place like each part of it geography people culture like their activities and then you get back and try to you know make sense of it and build work based on that we don't have anything like that we just have so there are creative teams events teams marketing teams pr all of this kind of stuff so you just sign up and you work with all kinds of people all all years all batches all branches of engineering and design everybody comes together and works towards this one festival so That's a lot of your time goes there we don't really have like organized fests and stuff from college like whatever we do is student initiated so it's nice if you have like this one event happening every year yeah i think that's the place we have most of our learning apart from the uh, two fests we also have different clubs like sports and cultural and these are like under the college by the administration but it's almost entirely run by students the only part that the college does is partners and how they fund us is also depend on the student and there will be leaders for that they are like under each board so cultural board and sports board are is there and technical board is there under technical board there are technical clubs under sports board there are sports clubs and under cultural board there are cultural clubs so question these firstly do these clubs have like do you have like elections and stuff in your college yes so the only elections we have yeah. are for the main heads of the cultural board and the technical board and the what's the sports board and they are like the student run uh, so the student affairs board and like the hostel affairs board all the administrative part they are elected by our students apart from that like the club heads and all the individual heads around those are selected basically with interview rounds and the by the previous head and the previous board heads so how so how like, intense is like the college politics like is that a thing like do yes it's very intense okay, so uh yeah 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 ahead, like for even for the head selections there is some kind of politics happening around like people try to you know uh what you have makkhan lagane ki koshish karte hai previous heads ko so that you know they can get their favors and something plus the selection procedure like it totally depends on people right so previous heads hain already there they are going to select it and they are very harsh on us during the selection procedure so you guys are a part of the design department right so are your hostels and everything integrated with the um what are they called ha huh, btech btech kids like yeah, are yeah, you yeah. all like united everyone lives together like, oh, design versus btech chalo no, abhi no, jaldi no. nahi 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 we are like the minority in the college like legit minority and we are pretty uniquely seen for some reason like the moment the, like the btech people see a crowd they can immediately no like for some reason we just had a different vibe from the regular btech kids i didn't take it positively why. though Later, yeah we, we take we it try. positively though we yeah. try to <laughs> we do only have two girls hostels though oh, yeah. out of 11 nine are boys hostels just curious but what is the scene like over there ki itne ladke aur itne itni kam ladki hai ah it's it's exactly like the highest ratio of girl is to boy in a class is in design if the lowest ratio can go up to 1 is to 90 oh damn or 2 is to 90 so like that kind of ratios are 
also there in previous years. I think from our year onwards that changed because there was a girls quota introduced. So like there are a lot more girls than previous years now, but still the ratio is pretty less. What's the, what's the spirit of your college? What would you, how would you describe your college and say like one word? Okay. So it's basically a very tight knit community. Okay. I mean, everyone supports everyone because we are like just 45 people in class. So everyone knows each other, like we're really good. And if there's any problem, like uh, I felt really sick one, like in my third semester, like I fainted and, you know, uh, there was no one to help me. I couldn't get up, get up from my bed. So I just called, you know, my friends and they came running. They took me to the hospital. They get, got me admitted, called my parents. So that is the community. That is, I think, the, you know, the spirit. Especially since we're not divided into multiple streams, our degree is a general design degree. Uh, we don't have specializations. So uh, that makes us all the more, you know, stick together in one class, look out for each other. Uh, for us also, peer learning is like a big part of the college experience. Like a lot of our learning takes place from like sitting together and working, or be it anywhere. Like the college obviously gives us a structure, but the actual like learning, learning that takes place is outside of the classroom. Yeah, it, you know, it's this kind of different feeling when you're living with your friends when you're responsible for each other and then you're like working also together, sharing your ideas, uh, building on each other's ideas. I think the learning process itself only increases so much and becomes so much more holistic because sometimes you don't get what you want from college, but then you're not like sitting and crying, you know, Ki college ye nahi mil ra, wo nahi mil ra. but instead you're finding ways to learn that. And I think that's super cool. Yeah, that is amazing. I, yeah. I resonate with that completely. This is like, I'm very happy that we get to do this because for the past year, I have been wondering about what, so I, I asked a senior about, you know, what do you do if you don't, if you're not getting what you want from college, Matlab, if, if your expectations are something else and you want to learn a lot more, what do you do? So the, the, the main thing he told me was to reach out to your peers and, you know, discuss what their college culture is like, what they're up to, you know, discuss academia, discuss everything. So I think. I this is like the perfect perfect initiative to be doing this. I love it. Thank you so much for joining. Thank you so Yay. much, Grace. And we're super Yay. excited to come to your college. I hope we can come soon to see your lakes. You guys forgot to mention about the lakes. Oh, yeah. Oh. yeah. Oh okay. So there are so many lakes. Uh, there are three main five lakes. There are three main like larger lakes and um, and I think I'm, the most uh, more, most interesting will be the Serpentine Lake. I mean, you know, shit. it's a really good place to hang out. And do you like push uh, people into the lake? It has an island in between it. No, no, <laughs> it's a huge. It's if if you're found in the lake, then it'll be like a huge issue with the college. So that was it between the conversation between IIT Guwahati and uh, Shristi for today. I I'm pretty sure this will continue beyond this podcast as well and I was, i'm really glad to meet all of you all and i hope everyone listening here had uh, fun too thank you so much for joining us guys